Hey guys, in this one we're going to talk about the portfolio object and plotting variables with the record function. Let's start out with the portfolio object. The portfolio object is an attribute of context and can be used to get information about our portfolio at any given time. The most common use of the portfolio object is to either look at our current positions or our cash. Now, in front of me, I have an example that rebalances daily to a 50% long position in Apple and a 50% short position in SPY. It also has this function record vars scheduled to run at the end of each day, which will define to report our daily positions. To get our current positions, we can use the positions dictionary, which itself is an attribute of the portfolio object. I can refer to this in my code by using context.portfolio.positions. Positions is a dictionary of all open positions keyed by assets. Each position also has information such as the amount of shares held or the average price paid for those shares. Back to our example, if I want to report my positions at the end of each day, I can just print out the keys of context.portfolio.positions. And when I build this, I can see my daily positions printed each day. Now, if I want to visualize this, I can use the record function. Before doing that, I'm going to change up record vars a little bit to count the number of long and short positions that we have each day. So I'm iterating over the items in the positions dictionary, and I'm looking at the amount property of each position, which will give me the number of shares. And so if the amount is positive, then it's a long position, and if the amount is negative, it's a short position. Now to plot these, I can use record and then pass in each time series that I want to plot. So first I give the name of the series, so num longs equals and then my uh, long count, and then num shorts equals my short count. As you can see, these series aren't terribly interesting for this algorithm since we only have one long and one short position, but it can be quite helpful for more complicated algorithms. Now record lets me plot up to five time series, but in this case we're only interested in two. You can actually toggle the appearance of these time series on and off by clicking on the legend, and this actually rescales the axis as well. I should add that in backtesting, the record function can only be updated as frequently as daily, whereas in live trading it can be updated minutely. In general, recording certain variables can be helpful for tracking the behavior of your algorithm, so I'd recommend recording anything that you think is important.